Hi folks, I'm Steve Jubb, I'm a professional astrologer and this is my astrological forecast for the sign of Libra for July 2011. Well, Saturn is finally beginning to move forward. Finally, he's leaving those of you born in September completely alone and even those born of you born around um, October 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. By the end of July, you're going to find that the pressure, gravity, density, restrictions and limitations of the last nine months are going to be over. And for those, certainly those of you born before October 3, those people, situations, environments that are still left around by the end of July, they're going to be around for the medium long term future. Much more solid space now. Not a lot's left, but what's left is real. It's called weeding and pruning and streamlining and this is what Saturn does. And most of you won't see it as that, only in retrospect. Most of you will just experience July as a time where suddenly your backbone gets straighter and your headache stops hurting so much and your shoulders get lower and you suddenly feel as if the pressure and the gravity and the stress begins to decrease. And for many of you, this is going to be the case. So it's a time to jettison the old, to release, to let go. It's not all bad news. Some of you, particularly those born around September 22, 3, 4, you're in a great position to be able to break free, to start again, to begin again. Really major lifetime new beginnings. The last two or three years have trashed you and now you really can begin again. It's a very fertile month, Libra. It's not the most active month of the year, but it's where big transformations are taking place at the unconscious and subconscious level. Let them happen. They know what they're doing and they've got yeah, your best interest at heart. So just keep going. <laughs> keep calm and carry on. Saturn will bring structure and consolidation and order and self-discipline. It's just a question of whether he brings it with your consent or otherwise. And if it's your otherwise, then it's going to hurt. So you might as well just go with it. Makes life easy. Have a structured month. Well, I hope you enjoyed all that, folks. I'm Steve Judd. You're on my website, so you've obviously found my videos. Uh, my website, stevejudd.com, is changing. Who knows what's going to happen? I'm going with the flow at the moment. But I'm still one of the leading astrologers in the world. And if you want your chart done, I'm the man to do it. So if you want to find out about how you get your, your personal horoscope done with regard to both character analysis, astrolocation, past explanation, current expansion, future exploration, get in touch. Steve at stevejudd.com. Simple. All right, enjoy. Bye. And as an extra PPS, this is the last time I'm going to put this on the videos, but at the end of this month, for those of you in the UK, for those of you who are comfortable with sleeping under the stars for four or five days, in a wooded environment with standing stones, and stages and music powered by the wind and the sun. The 2011 Green Gathering. We're, to, we're doing it just 30 miles from Bath. And it's going to be the world's premier event. We have Thomas Dolby. We have some very big superstars who I'm not even going to allow to tell you. Come and see at the Green Gathering powered by the wind and the sun. 5,000 people. It's the event of the year. Bye.